Yeah, so I think I think I hear your question. So you have this control and you have this control. Yeah. Are you going always this way or yeah, because what would benefit me going yeah, so let's not say always or never, sure, right? Sure. But I, I've set myself up choosing that angle just to make that happen. Because yeah. again, there's a dilemma here also, right? There's a fork in the road for me. Like just because I have this control doesn't mean I have to go to the back. Right? right? I can get into all of our attacks from here. <clears throat> you understand? Yep. So by covering those three positions, that gives me an opportunity to read what you do next, right? right? At what point are you releasing that for, for this? Oh, I, mean, I see. We, we were playing with that reach, that mm -hmm. reach. And then we try to happen. Right. Yeah. So stepwise, like we set up chains, right? So if this is my block now, this is my push pull. Yeah. Right. Before I transition to the other side, I'm going to pummel this, mm. right? And now I'm going to, because now I can get around. Right oh, now, I can release that, and now I can hit my thigh pride and my cross face. Gotcha. <clears throat> like that'd be stepwise. Cool, cool. Dang, now I forgot what we were gonna do next. Second. Heck! Oh no, that was it. We're gonna win the anaconda, anaconda dars. <clears throat> okay, so we're landing here in the sprawl. Again, we're talking about those three points of contact, covering the back of our partner's head, having a chin strap, monitoring that tricep elbow. Just like Andrew was talking about, obviously you guys can just go to the back. Everybody's doing that. Looks great, right? But also this sets us up to start moving into either the anaconda or the dars. Okay. So the feel I'm looking for is like what my partner's going to do with this elbow, right? If he's staying in pretty conservative and he's like staying kind of tight, that kind of leads me to an anaconda, right? It doesn't take much for me to break down that base, hit our gator roll and finish the choke. If he's going wider, right? If he's, yeah, if he's taking up all of this space, now I have access to the dars coming from the armpit to the throat. You guys see how I can take a read off of just my partner's position and that kind of gives me like the easier route or the more efficient route. So that's what we're, that's where we're at, right? We're just gonna be here. Like if he goes wide right away, yeah, exactly. Then I'm just gonna take my angle and I'm gonna shut through, right? Start to break him down, work into our dars. Again, if he's playing conservative, right? He's staying nice and tight. I just can't get this open. So I'm gonna shoot through, I'm gonna karate chop. We're gonna roll through. And then we'll finish our anaconda there. Does this make sense? So we're going to try and turn that into a drill, right? Bottom partner is now just going to be active, right? They're just going to be doing basically either of those two things, right? Giving themselves a wide base and hunkering down or playing conservatively and tight and staying turtled up. Person on top, you're going to read that. You're going to try and time it. You make the transition to the dars, right? When they go wide, make the transition to the anaconda when they stay conservative and stay in tight. This makes sense. So we're just going to kind of play jujitsu, right? Like both of you guys know what's going on. We know we're setting up the sub, but there's also like some movement and some static that we're going to have to navigate. Any questions? Ready? One, two. <laughs> All right. What do you got? You know, no, 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 yeah. One, we're going to have to break them down to one side or the other. Hit the gator roll and roll through or break them down to the opposite side to finish the darts. Yeah, taking that angle is important. Yeah, okay. So, again, it doesn't make sense. If I'm breaking down his base this way, I don't. it's so hard for me to roll the other way. Like, my head is sliding off this way. Like, I'm taking away my own base, so I'm falling through. Okay, or for the dars, right? Remember, we're shooting now from the armpit to the neck, karate chopping down, right? Again, folding our partner's head, not just working our partner's neck, but breaking our partner down, following and using our chest, right? Now we want this arm coming across, okay? Again, once we're here, we're going to try and shoot deep so I can fold my partner's head in, shoot my arm nice and Make sense? 
go back and forth, play with the anaconda a couple times, play with the darts a couple times. Ready, one, two.